What's good, everyone? This is Dan the Coolest. And this is Ray Bay. And this is JB. And, and welcome, welcome to Slick, Slick Talk. Talk. Hey, 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 What's good, everyone? Thank you so much for joining in again. We have a camera in our face this time. Yes, so night. we had to make sure we came not in our pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> no liquor ever anywhere. Right, there's no liquor no sponsorship. Liquor. No Jamie today, no Jameson. You know? But uh, thank y'all so much for tuning back in. We have another amazing episode with some amazing guests here today. Yes, um, we will be talking about this dope web series that I'll let Stefano, Shea, and Chris talk about. And then later on in the uh, episode, we'll have an open dialogue related to uh, the web series where Marquise will come in and give yes. some more insight. Yes, okay, yes. so uh, first, some Stefan, yes, let's get yes. It's, it's a going. pleasure to be here. Thank you for having us. Of I'm course. Stefan O'Shea, uh, uh, co-creator of a web series called Preference. And um, let me have Chris introduce himself. <laughs> How y'all doing? So, Chris Hollis, I play a character called uh, Coach L. Yeah. yeah. Marquise, you might as well go ahead and introduce yourself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's Marquise. Welcome to the table. Thank you guys for having me. Yes. Right. Welcome, to welcome, welcome to the table. To the All right, so, <laughs> yeah, so let's... What? Oakland. We're in Oakland. So oh, yes, we are in Oakland. Oakland. California. It's a beautiful yeah. day to be here, by the yes. way. Right. It's, it's, it's like 80 degrees. You right. got it from LA. <laughs> I was not ready. Right. Right. You got on this... Um, I do it on the way. That's nice, so it's really cute. A little girl's chest. A little girl's chest. A little girl's I like it. Um, so yeah, so let's get into a little bit about preference, what it's about. Um, give us a quick little treatment, or however long the treatment you want it to be. Yes. So <laughs> real quick, so that I'm not taking, I'm not losing interest here. Preference is literally about a show about two males um, who are uh, uh, business partners, and they cohabitate. I mean, they coincidentally become roommates, um, and one is gay and one is straight. They're both mm -hmm. African American. Uh, both around the same age. Um, um, my character, Oshay, I play the character O'Shea, uh, O'Shea Brown. I'm playing a little bit older. I play like maybe like a year or two older. And then um, my co, um, my castmate Christian, who's also the co-creator, the co-director, co-writer, everything like that. Shout out to, uh, to Christian. Uh, C, uh, the Don C B is his Instagram. Um, he's playing the little, little bit younger character. He's playing the straight, the straight character, and I'm playing the gay character. Yeah. And so the um, the premise of this show is just following two guys who become roommates circumstantially. And what you find is them revealing a lot about each other that they didn't know, mm -hmm. and especially coming from the different perspective of one being gay and one being straight. Mm -hmm. um, and what we originally came about that when we came up with this idea um we thought about it and said wow there's nothing like this out on like any social um aspect though so as far as like tv series yeah. and like mm -hmm. web series and stuff they may um touch upon those type of relationships mm -hmm. but it's never like the vo the the focal point yeah. yeah we wanted to um we wanted to elaborate on that because I think that's important to showcase, yeah, especially absolutely. with um, there, especially with giving the educational aspect aspect behind that as well as saying there is really no difference between the two when mm -hmm. it comes to um, you know them both being African American, mm -hmm. them both having the same aspirations and dreams. Um, the only difference is their their sexual preferences. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so we caught the show preference just based on that and okay. thought that that oh, was just a good idea to Come on, preference. Say, um, <laughs> hey everyone has their preferences you know yeah, that's, 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 that's the catch line that's, yeah. that's, that's yeah. the catch line everybody yeah. has their preferences yes, awesome. I yes. love it yes okay um, um, and Coach L yes. what yeah. This is Chris. What? Uh, but he plays Coach L. What is like Coach L's involvement in the series? Like, where does he come in with that relationship? So Coach L is um, in this series. He's pretty much being introduced. Um, so you'll see him pop, you know, in and out uh, of the show here and there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So do, does O'Shea and Coach L have some type of, or are you, what's the other character's name that you live with, the straight character? So the straight, the, the straight character's name is Ryan. Ryan. Ryan okay, so and does Coach L have a relationship with Ryan or with O'Shea or Good is question. that a spoiler? Is that Good a spoiler question. or what? Like, it's, it's, it's not necessarily a spoiler. What you'll see is, what we wanted to do when we wrote this series is create different roles that are actually real, are real life characters, mm -hmm. real life people. Mm -hmm. 
living among us, you know. Yes. And when we have those dynamics, we have people who are what you consider, you know, just out. People yeah. who are, um, um, people who are down low. Mm -hmm. You have people who can be mistaken as gays. There's people that's bisexual in this in this series as well. Mm -hmm. um, we also um, we also <laughs> add in the hetero perspective on that too. We have you know women in here. Mm -hmm. We have straight men in here. So it it, it gives like a really good. Um, pool of people from different dynamics well that can right. relate to yeah. the series so yes, that way absolutely. no one feels left out I know there's going to be some people out there that's like I can't relate to any of these characters and I'll, I'll let you know you can't relate to them yet because they haven't yet been introduced but Coach L's character is basically going to be the character that everyone is going to have their suspicions about mm. and that I cannot spoil okay, <laughs> okay. So, I but, you, but, I but as, spoil. as Chris was saying that you know he basically plays this 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 character that pops in and out he doesn't really have a lot of dialogue this season just yet mm -hmm. um this season was is five episodes mm -hmm. and um we're looking at about 10 to 15 minutes each episode nice. okay so yeah, um, that's a nice nice amount of you it is right oh yeah like, oh yeah you know, you know that's my lunch break right. <laughs> <laughs> we took a right. lot of that inspiration from what's going on right now like this show called giants um i i, I love that show yeah. um mm -hmm. they they started off with doing like really short episodes and then once they got a lot of um uh press and budget behind them mm -hmm. they end up expanding it to 30 minutes so that's something that we intend to venture off into if this takes okay. off the way that we nice. do nice. take off yeah nice okay um so now that we know the the premise of the show i think it's in, it's important for us to delve to dive into the the cohabitation that you spoke of. Right, right. Um, I guess, was there an experience that you and Christian had in real life that kind of sparked that? Or, like, and I think we all can kind of attest at mm, this point yes. to, like, having to come across um, another another uh, gay person, another straight person, but then also figuring out how to maneuver being straight while being comfortable with a gay person and being gay in a group of other gay people being... Yeah. You know, comfortable with the uh, straight person. That was awful. <laughs> but I, I understand where you're saying yeah, basically yeah, how we can open up this conversation now. And where Christian and I, um, the, this this series is based on Christian and I relationship, right? Mm -hmm. Point blank, period. And I'm I'm an openly gay man, um, openly gay black man at that, mm -hmm. and he is an openly straight black man. <laughs> <laughs> you don't gotta be open. Yeah, right. you know, like, you're you're straight, you know? Right. Yeah, got it. Gotta, yeah. that, that's, that's another one to, to, to tackle. But um, and and it's a pleasure to have other perspectives here. I know Absolutely. Chris and Marquise uh, come from a, a hetero standpoint mm -hmm. um, as well. So it'll be so good to hear from what you guys have to say about this. But the, that this relationship is alive and well. Mm -hmm. um, our relationship was definitely uh, was was created by um, a, a really close friend of mine, Erin. Mm -hmm. She's the best friend of mine, and she's dating Christian. And that's how mm -hmm. I, how Christian and I met. Mm -hmm. And since then, we've like never really had like a brotherhood like oh let me hit up the homie real quick and like let me let's chat it up it never right. became like that until this series Interesting, and wow. um we actually grew so much more closer and had more respect and understanding for each other mm -hmm. um working together mm -hmm. and we also learned that like it's not just a, a work relationship that we have it is uh it's, it's personal as well okay. we've had conversations where like I would think someone who's straight will feel uncomfortable having with me, mm -hmm. and then vice versa. Mm -hmm. um, st stuff from, you know, girls, mm -hmm. guys, mm -hmm. sex, um, dating, and stuff like that. So we've been able to have these conversations without it feeling completely, you know, discouraged or awkward or anything yeah. like mm -hmm. that. We have that respect for another for one another, where you know we can say things without making it feel like we're trying to taunt the other person or, or as. I've, in my experience, I've experienced other straight guys where they feel like the gay guy is trying to advance at them. Yeah. You know? Well, I, I so, kind of want to ask yeah. Marquise um, mm -hmm. with that. Like, do you feel... <laughs> right, just jump straight to you. <laughs> but do you feel like there... This is a gen generally. Yeah. Do you feel like there is a... Among the straight black male community, a stigma associated with gay black men? That's a good question. It's definitely a yeah. stigma. Okay. Yeah. I, I think that for most, like, I guess the, the dynamic that you're, you're mentioning, I think it's it's very interesting because you have it was something that brought you guys together. Otherwise, if it wasn't for the show, would you guys have actually had a relationship outside? Because prior to that, you guys didn't. We did not. So it's kind of finding that similarity in that, and then it opens up the, the conversation, I think, in a dialogue. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. 
we um um without this series i think we would have maintained just oh that is my best friend's boyfriend Mm -hmm. And if we were at outings and stuff like that, he has respect for me, I have respect for him, we'll say, hey, what's up? But it wouldn't have created this, hey, I have your number, I can hit you up anytime and talk yeah. situation that we have now. It would never be like that without this. Um, so, yeah, I would say the primary the primary reason we were able to establish this relationship was through working in business. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, so Marquise uh, did say there was a stigma attached to that. Like, yeah. Can you elaborate on why there is a stigma? <laughs> <laughs> but you're right on the Yeah, it's, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I think that, um, I mean, I'm not one of the people that feel like every time around a gay guy, they're hitting on me. Mm -hmm. um, I think that it's, I mean, from what I've known, I have a gay friend who also have told me about this recently, but they do feel like they, everyone is gay until proven otherwise. Mm -hmm. Or they're straight until proven otherwise. I've heard that conversation before. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of like, a lot of people can kind of feel away about that because a lot of men like I'm not. Don't be trying to persuade you into like that. <laughs> yeah, right. Right, I feel right. like that could also be a portion of why a lot of men, or hetero men, don't engage a lot with the gay with the gay community or the gay black men. Yeah. And being black, we always have that hyper masculinity situation. Mm -hmm. So in inter entertaining someone who's homo homosexual or mm -hmm. a part of that um, LGBTQ community, mm -hmm. it does kind of it diminishes your masculinity. I think mm -hmm. sometimes too. Mm -hmm. So those stigmas together it kind of makes a lot of hostility sometimes, I feel like, maybe. Wow. Yeah, and that's interesting because with that, that just basically means that being feminine is a bad thing. Feminism mm. is horrible. Especially yeah. for black people. For a black, black men. Which is a black crazy. community, yeah. right? Yeah. It's just like, crazy because it's even a bad thing inside of the gay community. Like, it's looked down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. true, too. Inside of the gay community. What, being feminist looked down? Yeah. yeah. Like, it's like, yeah. If you're, if you, the more masculine yeah, you crazy, are, right? the more attractive you are as yeah. a gay person. Exactly. In the gay community, yeah. I think, I think it's probably because it's, because you're a man, I think being masculine and being a man is always appeasing to women, and I'm assuming it's probably the same in the community. Right, right. and to somewhat, I mean, they have, I mean, feminine and masculine have to fit in somewhere. It's, it's, a, yeah, spectrum. Absolutely. Everybody. Absolutely. it's a huge spectrum, so you like what you like. But it's interesting that we have that discrimination within our community, mm -hmm. yeah. and it, like, translates to... You know, but when I look at TV, well. though, I see a lot of, like, flamboyant gay men mm -hmm. who get a lot of, a lot of respect. <laughs> and, uh, and, I mean, yeah. and I'm assuming, like, I, if I watch, like, a reality show, Mm -hmm. They don't get as much criticism, and I will consider them to be more feminine if they're flamboyant, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's very true. That is very true. Um, uh, to attest.